Best plays in 1989 is I really believe that the power of friendship was something that every single person needed in their life. Um, I've had an incredible network of friends that have supported me and achieved my goals. And I thought people with intellectual disabilities would be able to do so much more um, if they had an enormous support system, an enormous support system of friends in their lives to encourage them, to motivate them, to inspire them. Uh, so I set out to start Best Buddies to do all that. But what I really found in the end is that people with intellectual disabilities inspired me. And they inspired literally tens of thousands of high school and college students to be better people, to be more compassionate, to be more patient, to be more loving. And really brought an enormous joy into our lives, into my life. Having a friend with a person with a disability is the greatest friendship you could possibly have. Uh, and anybody who doesn't have a friend who has a special need, they're missing out big time in life. Uh, so I encourage every single person who's out there, if you don't have a friend with a special need, go get one, go find one, go hunt one down. Uh, because you need that person in your life. They will make your life so special. I really have two heroes in my life. One is my mother, who's been at my side my whole life, and I wouldn't be where I am today without her. She's been an inspiration. She's been an inspiration to me and obviously to millions of other people through her work with Special Olympics and her work in changing the lives of people with intellectual disabilities all over the world. Uh, she's not only a great mother, but she's a great leader. Uh, so she was a huge, huge hero to me and continues to be a hero to me. Uh, one of the people that inspired me really to get started with Best Buddies was my Aunt Rosemary Kennedy. She really taught me at a young age to look beyond difference, to look beyond disability. Uh, that every single human being alive has that special gift uh, that we need to celebrate, we need to rejoice about in our society. Um, she taught me that she, even though she was severely mentally challenged, that she could swim better than anybody in my family. And that she had that special gift that we need to recognize it, we need to celebrate that, and we need to bring her joy in her life uh, through her ability to swim, and that she would get joy in her life uh, through swimming. Uh, and it really taught me for the rest of my life, and I do this every single day of my life, to look at every single person as someone with a great talent. And if I can't find their talent, I'm missing out. Not only am I missing out, but the community that I live in is missing out, the country's missing out, the world is missing out. And it's really our challenge as people to search deep and work hard figure out the skills that every human being has because God gave every human being a great gift uh, and we're losing if we can't find that gift so I discovered that in Rosemary she taught me to always look for that in every person and it's been my guiding force so every human being I meet I look for that um, Best Buddies is about that about sharing friendships uh, and through friendships you learn about the gifts and the talents that every human being has uh, so my heroes are my, aunt, my mother and my aunt Rosemary One of my other great heroes is obviously President Kennedy, who's my uncle, and Rosemary Kennedy's brother was President Kennedy. And the great thing about him is he thought everything was possible. He thought the world was able to change. He thought people could change. He thought young people could be the moving force in our society. And he was the first president to ever welcome a child with Down syndrome into the White House. He was the first president to ever create the Committee on Mental Retardation and uh, began the great work that's been going on for the last 40, 45 years, and it really started with President Kennedy. And of course, uh, Rosemary Kennedy benefited so much from her brother's work in the White House. That founded Best Buddies at the University of South Florida. Uh, it was 1991, and I actually got to meet Anthony Shriver. He was on the USF campus looking for students to be able to start Best Buddies at USF. And uh, I was able to serve as the treasurer of the chapter and be one of the founding members of the University of South Florida Best Buddies chapter. And uh, my brother and sister both were part of the program. Uh, they both have intellectual disabilities and were very proud members of the USF chapter and had the most amazing friendships. And my own buddy, his name was Howard, and uh, he was part of the, the HARC there in Tampa. He was a 56-year-old man with Down syndrome, and he definitely made a huge difference in my life just by being friends with him. And ultimately, that inspiration and that friendship has led me to uh, a career with Best Buddies for over the last 13 years. with you I was I was shocked and, I, and again I was honored and I was very very thankful as well and um, it really 
no matter what happens or if I get older, best buddies will always, forever will be in my heart. No continue doing this after you graduate from um, college. Yeah. I definitely want to be part of Best Buddies after I graduate from USF. Um, I'm going to be part of it for life. And um, I plan to be, I'm actually still buddies with my high school buddy. Her name is Wanette. We've been, with, we've been buddies for four years now. Actually eight years, I'm sorry. High school and college, eight years. <laughs> and um, and um, I have my buddy here too, Dana. And we've been buddies for what, two years, Dana? Yeah. Yeah. Do you see her, Mike? <laughs> um, so yeah, Dana, what do you what do you like best, buddy? Because it's fun. It's fun, right? Yeah, I think that's the number one reason I like Best Buddies too. It's nothing but fun. Mm -hmm. And um, and how many times have you gone to leadership conference? How many times have I gone to leadership conference? I think I've gone to it like about three or four times. And this is this year, so. Yeah, this, I, went, I went this year too, yeah. So, which is always, leadership conference is always lots of fun uh, too. Tracy and I went together. And, me uh, too. And also Mike. <laughs> and I was just wonderful. Uh, Except for the part where we got sick. Yeah. All three. Who are your heroes? My heroes, um, I would have to honestly say my heroes are my parents. They, um, I'm from Pakistan and basically they might be migrated here um, and my parents made the sacrifice to leave everything behind and come to the U.S. for my brother and myself and um, so we can have new opportunities, we can have a better education, a better life and I am so grateful to them for that. Um, I would have to say they're my heroes and um, they definitely will be forever. Okay, I'm the assistant buddy director and um, it's fun to have a buddy and best buddy is so much fun. I love that buddy so much because it's really fun and I'm a buddy director and I've got to go to him.